lovelies i've got a video for you today and i love it i loved making this for you i made book <laughs> from hocus pocus so if you're a hocus pocus fan like me you're gonna love this in the description there'll be a list of the items that i used to make this project what i've done is i've uh, mud podged the entire cover of the book and I've wetted some napkins and I'm just placing them over the book, not neatly. I want it to look all kind of weathered and ragged and old. So it looks more like the authentic book from the film. <laughs> Now what I'm doing is I'm sealing the top of the wet napkins with the Mod Podge to seal it. And as you can hear, I'm drying it with the hair dryer. You don't have to do this step, I just did it because I wanted it to be done quickly. And now I'm resealing it again, so I, I want the outside of the book to be really firm, a good solid piece to work on. So I'm just covering it again with the Mod Podge, giving it a good coat. And then drying it with the hair dryer again, um, because we had our movie night and I needed it done for the Saturday. So these are little snakes that I got from the Salvation Army. You could probably get them from Poundland or Home Bargains or a joke shop. And I'm just cutting the keychain off because I thought they were perfect for the corner of book with them being that shape, how they're like in the corner. So I'm just cutting the keyring off. This is actually the eyeball that was a water scusher from the boys' Halloween thing. And I always thought that will come in handy for something. And that's my air dry clay. So I'm just kind of squeezing the clay between my fingers to soften it up so it's easier to work with. And then I'm just rolling it into a kind of finger shape. And I wanted to get a rough idea of how big I needed to make the fingers for the spine of the book. So that's me just checking there. And then I'm using my Cricut tool just to... You could use a butter knife or anything, you don't have to have a Cricut tool. That's just what I had to hand. So I make five fingers with the clay. Now I'm using the Cricut tool to do the finger nail design and then the two creases of like the, the joint, the knuckle. So this is when I felt, oh these are really starting to look like fingers now. <laughs> I thought it was quite creepy but cool. <laughs> loved making this it was so much fun now this is me making the lock part where the eyeball sits in on the book so I just kind of roughly cut it out the good thing about clay is you can manipulate it to whatever shape size you want it's good, there's never really any mistakes in clay. That's me doing the design of the book, the little lines, just pressing it in. And then I used a pencil to do the little dot indentations into it as well. And that's me just checking and showing you roughly how it's going to look. Starting to shake shape already. <laughs> This is me now making the corners of the books just 
let's say the triangles, for the snakes to sit on. So I'm just using the Cricut tool as well, but as I said, you could use a, a butter knife or anything that's going to cut a sharp line. place on the book that's Dexter pointing to it but I was telling him it wasn't quite dry yet <laughs> not to get his fingers wet <laughs> So this part here, I am making down the front, it's not quite on the spine, but it's at the side of the spine. There's like a sort of plate and then a slivering snake going down it. So I just rolled out the clay to the size that I needed and that's me just using the scissors to get the sort of straight edge. I'm just showing you here where I put it on. I made it a bit thinner, that was a bit too thick, so I made it slightly thinner. And this is me just rolling the snake between my fingers, trying to make it take shape. I, just, I love working with clay. I didn't realise how much I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed working with the clay. And I also absolutely love watching a girl, I don't know if you watch her or not, but her name's Chelsea Bowen, and she just does amazing things with paper mache, it's just amazing the creations that she does in crafts and fabrics so if you haven't subscribed to her go and give her a, a watch you won't be disappointed she's lovely so nice this is me now starting to work on the eye so i wanted to cut the bottom of it off so it laid a bit flatter easier to glue onto the book and i'm just making the eyelids for book's eye <laughs> and it's just two bits of clay rolled down flat and then attached to the eyeball at the side now what I'm doing here with these snakes is gluing them together in the position that I want them to be but obviously whatever snakes that you use if you make them out of clay then you can shape it into the, the design that you want anyway now what I'm doing is adding the start of the stitching to the book. So as you can see, that was really hot there. So I turned my glue gun down because it wasn't um, firm enough. So make sure that you don't have your hot glue too hot. <laughs> I've now put all the clay onto the book placement just so I can see where I need to put the stitching around the front cover of the book. And then I realised that book's eye is actually green. So I'm colouring it in green, but um, what I noticed was the eyeball had a hole in it for the water shooter. So I just filled that with hot glue so that was able to make the pupil completely black. So it's more authentic to the book. I'm now painting the eyelids brown to match the book. And as you can see, I got a little bit of the brown on the eyeball. And when I wiped it, it gave it an aged look. So I actually quite liked it, so I did it a bit more. I don't like this bit, it's a bit like E.T.'s eye. <laughs> This is me now painting the cover of the book. The book actually looks quite cool white as well if you wanted to make it like a sort of spider web book if you were going for another idea and you could have put like a clay spider on it that would be a cool idea as well. I'm just having thoughts here as I'm watching the video. So as usual I'm using my makeup brush to paint it. I just I love using makeup brushes to paint with. You don't get any of the bristles falling off because I hate getting bristles in my paint. I'm dabbing it so it gives it a kind of leather look. A bit extra texture. 
now I am painting the fingers. I just used the nearest to skin colour paint that I had. This is the paint that I've used for the fingernails. So I wanted it to kind of look like <laughs> dead man's fingers. <laughs> oh, it sounds horrible, but I suppose that's what book is. Book's, book's a bit creepy. Now what I'm doing is I'm painting all the other decorations black because if you do, like, the main base colour black then when you spray paint it later on all the colours are cohesive and it just makes it look a nicer finish. So I'm just painting everything black to give it the base coat for the spray paint. And that's the paint that I used. Just a little tester packet but it went a long way. What I'm doing is I'm gluing the snake to the black triangle, ready for spray painting it. You just take all the little strings of hot glue off as it cools down a bit. I always go outside to spray paint, it's such a strong smell. I love how the spray paint shines the details out that you didn't see when it was black. A bell's thumbs up. <laughs> okay, here I am using the rest of that black paint from the sashi. As I said, it went a long way. So I'm just painting down the stitching of the book and once again I'm painting it black because I'm actually going to be painting that gold to match the original book. And then here what I'm doing is I am... Um, using a wet wipe but it's quite a dry one and just dabbing on the black paint on the raised parts of the book so it looks more aged and weathered instead of just the block brown colour that's it there, I thought I'd give it a good look I forgot to show this on camera, this is just a little blob of hot glue um, what I've done is just uh, waited on it setting and then I've coloured it in yellow to be the gem on the lock. Now I'm adding more detail into the stitching and it's just more hot glue. You can't do it when it's wet or it'll just all melt in together so you need to do the lines first and then do the little stitching and it'll set better instead of all melting all over the place. And then back to painting those black again because you need the base coat for the gold to go on. I'm just doing it quickly so I'm not boring you with all this painting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here what I'm doing is I'm dry brushing the silver with the black so it looks aged um, and not as vibrant and new. I put some spray paint into the lid and I'm just using that to paint the... because I didn't want to spray it on, it would be too difficult. So I'm just using a brush, a small thin brush to paint that on. So it's just the spray paint squished into the lid and then I'm just using it to paint on with a paintbrush. 
and as you can see it gives a really vibrant colour to the gold I just I love it I love gold that's my favourite colour And here I'm now attaching the fingers to the spine of the book. I'm using hot glue and super glue just to try and keep them on as best I can. in the front decor so I'm doing the long snake down the side first done <laughs> I hope you like them as much as I enjoyed making them yes Boy.